please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning. Today is Monday, February 10th. I'm Jazzy J with your morning news. Celebrating their birthday today is Ashley Stinson. Kelsey Allison has been named a recipient of the Mercy Presidential Scholarship at Mount Aloysius College. This scholarship is the Mount's highest academic award. Congratulations, Kelsey. On Tuesday, February 11th, 2014, the girls' varsity basketball team will be celebrating senior night with a whiteout. Wear white to support your Lady Ramblers versus Myersdale on their last home game. The night will also feature special events such as Elementary Spirit Night and Wimber Pride Night. There will be halftime <laughs> performances by Elementary Cheer Squad, Kristen Phillips and Rachel's Challenge Chain Project, and Senior Night activities. Be sure to be there and be loud to show that Wimber is to show what Wimber is made of. Attention juniors, the magazine drive is still going on. Our next turn-in day will be tomorrow, February 11th. Make sure you turn the money in with the orders. Graduation announcement orders are due to Mr. McLean or Mr. Colt no later than Wednesday, February 12th. There will be a meeting for all marching band members today in the band room after school. Please get the word around so we can get everyone there. Thank you. The History and World Languages Club students are selling Yankee candles again. The sale ends February 18th. Club members, please have all orders and money turned into Mrs. Blackburn by February 18th. Attention History Club and World Languages Club members. There will be a History Club and World Languages Club meeting Thursday, February 20th at 2.30 in Mr. Berkey's room for all students going on the New York trip. If you are not present at this meeting and do not see Mrs. Blackburn or Mrs. Korber, it will be assumed that you are not attending the field trip. We will be distributing time-sensitive information with no exceptions. Today for lunch we are having General Tso's chicken and broccoli over rice, green beans, a dinner roll, and mandarin oranges. Tomorrow for breakfast we are having a cheese omelet, assorted cereal, milk, and fruit juice. Thanks and have a great day. Kyle, what's wrong? I'm sad. Why are you sad? I had to pay for prom. Gee, Kyle, you should have sold 12 or more magazines for the junior magazine drive. Then you wouldn't have to pay. What a great idea. So I'm here with Steph Ponchek, a member of the girls' basketball team. So, Steph, is there anything going on tomorrow? There is. We're playing Myersdale, and it's also Pride Night, where we put together the chains that everyone made in school. That's wonderful. Is there anything else going on? It is also elementary school night, so all the elementary school girls are going to be there. Oh, that's great. That's just great. Um, and by chance, anything else special that's going on tomorrow? It is also a whiteout night. Everybody gets a t-shirt. And it's senior night! Thank you for your time, Steph. Thank you. I'll see everybody there. Hi, I'm Vivacious Vaughn, and I seem to be missing my partner, Charismatic Chad, but we're here today with Jambalaya Jake. How are you doing today, bud? I'm doing all right. So, uh, word is, you have an extraordinary hobby. Can uh, you tell me and everybody else what that is? Well, my free time, since I don't, I don't do a whole lot with my life, I, I, uh, I try to look for, for Bigfoot, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have you followed him yet? Unfortunately, no, but it's not going to keep me from trying. So explain to me, like, how you go on with your expedition. Ah, uh, well, you see... Uh, you go out late at night, I guess, and you walk around in, in the woods and uh, you pretty much make calls for uh, a Bigfoot, like you, you either howl or, you know, knock on trees and other stupid stuff that you think of, you know? Can, uh, can you tell me what noise a Sasquatch makes? Uh, you know. Ah! Stuff. What, what's it sound like? What's it sound like? Uh, I... I really can't can't make the noise because I'm not I'm not a, I'm not a squatch, you know what I'm saying? I do know what you're saying, man. <laughs> you get sounds like ah or something like that. Yeah, I don't. Like, uh, yeah, but there you have it, guys. Looking for Sasquatch, <laughs> and uh, I'm Vivacious Vaughn, and I'm Jambalaya Jake, and we're still on the hunt. This day in history by Nadine Carr.
1763, the Treaty of Paris ends the French-Indian War. As a result, England wins Canada. In 1947, the peace treaty ending World War II is finally signed. The treaties were the Paris Peace Treaties. In 1996, IBM's Deep Blue is the first computer to win a game of chess against a reigning chess champ, Garry Kasparov. Hi, I'm Dan Sendem with your morning crew announcement, advertising. It's a $159 billion industry. The jobs are there. Money Magazine has ranked advertising positions as one of the top 50 jobs in the U.S. Advertising can be seen everywhere. TV, newspapers, buses, park benches, billboards, the internet, and on the side of your sneakers. Every day, some company is trying to persuade you to buy something. If you're creative, energetic, and talented in journalism, there may be a job for you in advertising. Hello, Matt Gerda Ashley here with your daily forecast. Where do horses live? In the neighborhood. Today there will be mostly cloudy skies as temperatures reach a high of 22 with a low of 7. Tuesday will be mostly sunny with a high of 20 and a low of 9. Thanks and have a great day. <laughs> Good morning, I'm Rambler Ryan here with your sports highlights. Good luck to the boys junior high basketball team today in the Shade Lions Club tournament and the boys varsity basketball team tonight at home against Myersdale. In the Pittsburgh spotlight, the Penguins reveal Friday that defenseman Chris Letang had a stroke last week and is expected to miss at least six weeks to recover from the ailment. General Manager Ray Shiro said the condition is treatable and does not appear to be career-threatening. Shiro also said that doctors found a small hole in the wall of Letang's heart during further medical examinations and that they are seeking to assess if it led to the stroke. Letang will be reevaluated after a six week treatment period. And on this day in sports history, on February 10, 2006, the 20th Olympic Winter Games opened in Turin, Italy. Germany won the most gold medals during the games with 11 and the most total medals with 29 as well. And that's all for sports today. I'm Ramblin' Ryan and have a great day. This is Jazzy J with your Brain Teaser Mondays. A girl who was just learning to drive went down a one way street in the wrong direction, but didn't break the law. How come? The first person to turn their answer into Mr. Dessert Corner 109 before the end of the day receives a prize. Thanks and have a great day.